Creative Beast Enthusiast, the Killabator. <laughs> the Akilobator Giganticus! Boom. I am overly excited for this guy. I love how you have this awesome illustration of him right here. This illustration was done by one of our artists as well that I haven't even done a figure preview of. And that's Brennan Stalkermans. What I really like about this illustration though is it has all the detailing and looks just like the figure. It's so much that even the skin wrinkles up here on his head match the skin wrinkles on the figure. You got the awesome figure right here, the tail at the bottom, the new base on the side, the old base style over here, and of course the other position of the feet in the bottom of the box behind the tail. Everybody who's worked on this figure and of course the Kilovator Giganticus. Cool facts about the dinosaur, the dinosaur stats, and of course figure features with other dinosaurs from our series. Let's go ahead and get this guy open. We're gonna need some help and for such a spooky scary dino we're gonna use this guy. And this is Nin Vilmer from Savage Crucibles. Thanks Nin. <laughs> this guy is so cool. All right, let's look at the background. This is sweet. You have the background. This is awesome. This would make a good background piece if you want to display him. Just like the cards illustration. Separate the two halves. So you have the kilobator body and his tail right here with the extra accessory feet. So you get the cool different angles. The new base style right here. Accessories for the stand that go on the old stand. And it's clear so you can't see it, but I promise it's right there. I'm gonna put this on the side for now. And we're gonna get this guy out of here. Uh, oh, <laughs> he's got like a mane! Noise. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I cannot get over how cool these guys are. These are insanely awesome. They look great. Oh, it's open his mouth. So I'm biased because I think this is the coolest figure ever. His name's Akilla Bader. I thought it was Killa Vader, like Darth Vader. And oh boy, was I wrong. Just look at this thing. It's a masterpiece. I love this little main thing too. This is so sweet. And he still has all that articulation because it doesn't block anything. So starting with the tongue, the first time you open his mouth, it's going to be a little rough because the plastic's been sitting. So it might stick, but it gets super wide. And I love that. You can move his articulating tongue. His tongue is on a ball joint. Look at his teeth. Oh, <laughs> love it. You got a little hinge for the jaw. Very nice. You have a barbell at the back of the skull that gives great range of motion. And, oh my gosh, look at that. The coloration underneath the neck so you don't have any gaps. And the color flows and matches. You got a barbell at the back of the skull, a barbell in the middle of the neck, and a barbell at the base of the neck connected to the body. This piece right here is a cover for the base of the neck and it looks great and frees up all the range of motion, which you don't even notice that it's a cover until you actually start pulling it off, which is awesome. You then have a ball joint at the shoulder, so you get great range of motion out, down, all around, 360 rotation, great articulation on that. You have a disc swivel in the elbow, so you get great range of motion, 90 degrees, and the wrist has over 90 degrees of articulation, which looks awesome. The feathers flow looks so realistic. You have a barbell inside of the middle of the body, so you get this great rotation right here. Oh, I love that. A great up and down. So you get the hunchback look on these raptors. You also have a hip ball joint and you get great range of motion with that and articulation. You have a disc swivel in the knees. So you get 90 degree bends, 90 degree bend back and forward. Very nice. Same thing with the ankle, right? Jaw, 90 degrees forward and back. And you also have the new barbell in the foot. So you get rotation, swivel, pivots on the ankles now, which is awesome, and up and down movement. So you get a really dynamic pose with the disc swivel and the big claws. So they go all the way up, all the way down, and they're huge and awesome, and I'd be scared of this turkey bird. At the base of the tail, you get another barbell. So you get great ranges of motion, side to side, up and down. And then also at the midsection of the tail, you get another barbell. So you get all those great ranges of motion and articulation with a full bendy wire. Yes, you do. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. This guy's color scheme is based off of the California condor. 
and I love it. This thing looks incredible. You have these nice oranges, almost a salmon color. It looks fleshy in the kilobitter's head. You also get this gray color in the front, which I really like because he doesn't really have a beak, but it makes it look more avian-like and cool. I really like the coloration choice. These dark colors really highlight the eyes and make them pop with this white here that really draws attention to his face, but it shows you just how cool he is. But what's even more awesome is when you articulate his neck, the colors line up and then there's no gappage. Very cool. I love the skin texture too on this thing. Get close you can see it it looks just like the illustration and i'm blown away especially the wrinkles on the neck this is just such a well done figure i just want to pet it <laughs> then you also get this cool feather effect for the mane and that really feels condor like i love that in my opinion i like this guy more than the utah raptor the feathering effect throughout this figure is very well done and you can see the feathers throughout the entire figure what i really like is this light coloration on top that merges into this black. It's almost this jet black color that looks so good and menacing. I really like these white colorations you get throughout the entire figure. These brushed on effects look incredible. And you can see all the feathering detail, especially on the back of the thigh right here and the calf. It just looks great. You also get on the hands, a nice dark dry brush that makes it really pop with the scales. And these claws are really cool they really look like fingernails and on the feet of course you also get the same effect you also get this dry brushing of the salmon color it's really nice and you can see all the coloration details in the toes look at that it just makes everything pop very good color choices even the bottom of the feet are detailed same with the tails on these guys you get this crazy feathering effect that just looks really organic and flows all the way through the tip of the tail and then underneath the tail as well. It just works so well. You can follow it all the way to these little pieces right here, which I think this is such a unique and fun feature because these little feathers feel real. Look at this. Would you rather have a bear? Would you rather run into a bear or an Achillivator raptor in the woods? <laughs> I think it's tariff. Uh, this is gonna probably be a display piece I keep on my desk because I love him so much. He looks that cool to me. Let's go get some poses with this guy. <laughs> Boom. Look how cool this guy is. <laughs> Let's do that. That's too sweet. Give me like a screaming pose. Let's go. We have the extra pair of feet, the new base right here, the base accessories here, and the old base chill. We're just gonna set everything out. And you got the old base with the uh, movable stand with the different base accessories to put into the top. And we're focused on this new stand and, oh, that's a good fit. <laughs> nice. Let's go. And we got the Utah. I'm gonna call you Terry. Spooky, scary Terry. Oh, they're so cool! Now we gotta get the Kilobator in his card form. Oh yeah! This right here is what we're gonna do. On the back, you have the action figure, stats, and facts about the dinosaur. Let's pose it just like this guy right here. So this is gonna be easy. He's got his head turned. He's looking over his back, the mouth open. Where's the big rock I can have you sit on? Oh, it's meant to be. See, we don't know what his legs are doing. They could be sitting off the side here. Let's go. And from all of us here at Creative Beast Studio, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Later. Chris, you forgot. You forgot the thing, the... Uh, fine, I'll take care of it. Creative Beast Studio. Yay.